Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome. Today we are reviewing another kit from a company name that name is Kete Shot. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, it's a very cute, it's a girl, you can see part of it. Uh, it's a girl uh, baby shower set. Uh, if you want to hear what I think about it and how I made this happen, then stay tuned and let's go. Let's see what does this kit will include in itself. This is a uh, baby shower, it's a girl a kit. Like usual, everything is individually packed. I did review some of the kits from this company and so far I've been liking what they include in sets and the quality of it is very nice. And the price is reasonable as well. So let's see, there is some balloons over here. Uh, thank you note. Also, uh, this banner over here, it's a girl, and a few flower pom-poms, tissue pom-poms over here, uh, then a honeycomb, three honeycombs, and three paper Chinese lanterns, plus this string to hang anything that you need to hang, and a what is this? Instructions how to make your tissue paper flowers. I am excited to see how it's going to look on our backdrop, so let's jump into it. But before we do that, they did send me another uh, set for uh, a bachelorette party decoration kit. In rose gold. So I want to focus on the baby shower kit more and then I'll quickly show you what this kit will hold in itself as well. I want to start with these Chinese lanterns over here first. Uh, let's open uh, these guys up. In the package they do have instructions included so that's very nice if you don't know how to assemble uh, Chinese lanterns but it's very very easy as you can see here there's a top and the bottom top uh, has this uh, mm, hook over here and the bottom has these two dents over here so there's also a top and a bottom for your Chinese lanterns these it's two um, wired circles over here. This is the top of your Chinese lantern. So find the bottom of your wire piece, uh, place it into your Chinese lantern to make sure those two indents catching the lantern at the bottom. Pick up your Chinese lantern and push it up at the same time, bend your metal wire just a little bit and push your Chinese lantern until those metal circles will hook on these two hooks at the top. Let it go and here you have your Chinese lantern. Let's jump into our honeycombs over here. These are in white color, they have a string to hang them. As you can see here, there are three um, tape strips that you need to peel off the top portion. Paper is off. Now, let's unfold this honeycomb over here and tape two halves together so this is basically a double tape tape over here and tape it to the other side of your honeycomb press it and you're good to go and here is our a tissue pom-pom flowers uh, as you can see here, uh, two different sizes. Let's open one up. Uh, 
what I like to do with them I like to fold them in half and make push it like in the middle to make a tiny crease so I would know where to tie this uh, ribbon up tie your ribbon in the middle now you're ready to fluff uh, your pom-poms up so you basically take one piece of paper at a time and fluff it up gently push it up towards the middle just because I am uh, putting this against my uh, fabric backdrop I'm making these flowers uh, one-sided so this side will be flat but this side will be nice and fluffy if you are planning to hang these uh, from your ceiling uh, from somewhere else that both sides will be visible then you would need split this bunch of paper in half and put one half or fluff one half on this side and the other half on this side. Right now they look like uh, peonies to me. Let me know if you see a peony over here. It's very cute. Cute. I like the color of this uh, tissue paper flower looking really really beautiful so do exactly the same thing what I did with this one to the rest of your pom-poms let's blow these balloons up this pack of balloons does include this little straw to blow your balloons uh, which is really nice you don't have to go and look and search for straw to inflate your balloons and what does it say okay we're gonna find out we're gonna blow this up and we'll find out what these balloons actually say let's go so i'm inserting my straw and blowing it up balloons you guys I figured how they going to look and it's going to say oh baby those strings that we got extra strings and they are exactly for this to uh, string your balloons and hang on your backdrop also you guys I didn't mention a quite um the full thing about this thank you card it is a thank you card but in the back you guys there is a 10 percent off of your next order you can follow instructions over here you need to go on your facebook page and uh, follow the instructions and you can get 10 percent off of your next order so go ahead and check this card out when you're going to receive your package Package from this company as you can see you guys everything is ready the only thing that I need to do is to string these balloons the strings that we have extra over here these are the strings to string our balloons so let's string these balloons and you guys every single balloon over here they do have these little ears with holes that you can uh, string your string through it and you can hang your balloons easily. Okay, I am almost ready to put everything on. The only thing we need to unpack is this um, It's a Girl banner over here. Let's do it right now. The banner is already uh, has a string, so that's nice. You don't have to string anything. Oh, look at this. It's so cute. I like it. I like the card stuck in this banner. It is very thick and letters are written very, very nicely and very neatly. So how am I attaching this? I am going to take my 
uh, needles with furrows or safety pin and pin everything to my fabric. Let's go! The color of this banner it's very soft and it definitely very girly I'm going to scoot you closer a little bit later in the video to show you how I pin this so don't worry I'm going to show it to you a little bit later okay, you guys here is what I am kind of now, debating on what to do, as you can see over here, can you see the fabric pulling over here on this side and on the right side? Uh, I don't like that. I like my fabric to hang really, really nicely down. If you're using these balloons to hang up from your um, curtain rods or, um, I don't know, pipes, trees, anywhere that the stuff that you're attaching to is not pulling towards each other, then go ahead and use this string that uh, they provide over here or just um, place one more pin right in the middle so kind of the weight distributes evenly between letters and pins. I still don't like the pulling of fabric so I'm going to scratch uh, this um, string and I'm going to pin my balloons with my pins with pearls on top. How am I going to pin it? I know balloons can pop and all of this stuff. These balloons have ears that you can pierce uh, those ears with pins with pearls on top and nothing is going to happen to your balloons. So I'm doing this right now so let's go. you guys so much better so much better all right so it's somewhat even for me so it looks pretty good I like it now uh, let's hang these pom-poms up you can uh, hang them in two different ways you can hang them by the string so putting the pin through this ribbon and then pin it to your backdrop or you can take your pom-pom, take a few layers of tissue paper and insert your pin with pearls on top through and pin it that way. If you don't want to ruin and rip your pom-poms, it's better to pin your pom-poms by this ribbon that's included with the pom-pom. show you how I pinned all of my balloons so as you can see here I took my pin with the pearl on top and this ear that the balloon has pierced through grabbed my fabric went into the fabric and out of the fabric right there and it holds really, really firm. I did that on both sides and also I inserted one pin at the very bottom. You guys, be careful not to pop your balloons. Just be careful. So as these pom-poms over here, I took my ribbon, I went into the ribbon with my needle, into my ribbon and out of my ribbon again grabbed my fabric into the fabric and out of the fabric here we go and then i pushed this ribbon through the layers of tissue paper so it can hold the um, tissue pom-pom straight and flat against the fabric 
For my honeycombs, very simple as you can see here, I just pinned a pin with the pearl on top through my fabric and just took this um, string that was already attached to this honeycomb and kind of looped over this pearl and it holds really, really nice. For my banner over here and my uh, Chinese lantern that is hanging on this string over here. I took my pin with the pearl on top. I pierced through this ribbon a couple of times, insert my, inserted my pin with the pearl on top through the fabric, as you can see here, and took this string and that is attached to my Chinese lantern and kind of hooked over this pearl over here and tie a little knot. It holds really, really well. Alrighty guys, so here is what I have for you today. This is the kit that is, uh, or that came to me to review. It's very, very cute and very nice. These balloons are rose gold color. Everything is pinned here uh, with my pins with pearls on top. Quality is great. Everything looks really nice and adorable. I will list this set in the description down below. If you're interested, go ahead and check it out. And I will share a few pictures at the end of this video. As promised, let me show you this second kit that I got from the same company. This is the Bachelorette kit. And let's see what it includes in itself. This kit has this little baggie with balloons, with this um, kind of golden color balloons, four pieces, and four balloons in this pink, uh, dusty pink color. Next, oh, that's cute. They have this crown with a little veil. They have these uh, cupcakes or donuts or anything that you have on your table, like a topper. So you can insert these toppers. Uh, right here, look at this. Oh, my daughter loves the crown. Oh, uh, these are really, really cute. These are really nice toppers. I like them. I like how the gold is so consistent in uh, these toppers and there's a lot of them so that's nice then there is this banner that you can actually glue it or yeah glue not glue it but tape it to your wall because they have this tape over here and it says she said yes i'm not going to take all of the letters out because there are individually uh, they're individual, not strand, and they're going to be all over. Uh, this is a very nice rose gold color. Very nice cardstock as well. This bachelorette ribbon that you put across on your body. Ah, oh, it's already sewn. That's nice. The lettering is very nice and very um, bright uh, and it's shiny. I like it. I like it. Ah, and there is uh, a few photo booth props that you can use and take pictures. Uh, these are very, very nice. I like this a little stick over here. It's not flimsy, but it's very stable and it grabs really comfortably, so that's very nice. And every single prop is different, so you don't have to repeat yourself. Look at this. Selfie! Woo! <laughs> I like these props. These are really, really cute. I love them a lot. I Overall, I like the set. It looks really, really nice. I I hope you enjoyed this little mini review over here. I'm not going to set this up because it's not a lot to set up. I will list this kit at the bottom of this video as well. So if you're interested, go ahead and check it out. 
All right, you guys, so let me know what you think about this uh, backdrop over there. I think it's very cute, uh, quality is very nice, price is right, and yeah, I like it, I like it a lot. One more thing I want to sell, tell you guys again and again, if you are pinning balloons like I did with pins with pearls on top, be careful not to pop it. Otherwise, use the string that the kit provided with these balloons over there. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for more videos and yeah, you guys, I will see you back next week in my next video. Bye.